Hello everyone, in today's video I want to talk about a tool that I use called UI Faces. This tool gives you access to a huge amount of uh, profile pictures that you can use for your app design or web design projects. The website uh, is useful to kind of drag and drop uh, profile pictures to use in different design programs. What's great is that uh, this has been a plugin for Sketch. But it's now a plugin for Adobe XD as well with the latest uh, massive update that we got uh, earlier this week. Now, if you're using a different uh, design tool, this is still pretty useful uh, as the site has some pretty great filters so you can get really specific with how you're choosing your profile pictures. So you can select from the age, gender, hair color, as well as emotion, and then take profile pictures and simply drag them onto, uh, uh, say, another folder that you can use for your project. Now let's take a look at how this works within Adobe XD with the UI Faces add-on. So in XD, we now have a new option for add-on from the menu. That gives us access to a variety of powerful plugins to use. And I can do a separate video uh, covering some of these other plugins, but for today we'll stick to uh, the UI Faces. Adding any plugin is as simple as one click and you can access them in any of your projects. So let's see an example of how to use this plugin for adding profile pictures to a friends list here. I'm gonna select all of these profile pictures and I'm gonna to go to my menu and you'll see at the very bottom here, we have a plugins option and it show you all the plugins that you currently have installed. So I'm gonna to go to UI faces and you're gonna see a similar options that were available from the website right here in XD. So I can change some of the filters here and apply them. And XD will fill those shapes with profile pictures based on the filters that you've uh, selected. So you can see how this can really save a lot of time uh, in searching for profile pictures. And this is all done within XD so you don't have to worry about searching online or even in your own folders. Like I said, there's a lot of other plugins that are now available. And if there's any that you want me to cover, definitely leave them in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.